going to be painting Ears 3, and I'm also going to be talking about what got me into miniature wargaming. So, when I was about 10 or 11, I think, for Christmas, uh, Santa, my parents, got me. Oh, no, Santa. Santa got me. Uh, these cardboard these cardboard boxes and inside them were mage knights now if you guys don't know what mage knights are they're kind of like hero clicks they are miniatures that have all the stats along the base and it's kind of for like a medieval fantasy so there's dragons and orcs and so zombies and stuff like that and so i got i got a good collection of them i had like 15 or 20 of them all little mage knights and they were pretty cool and so i started collecting those and uh i'd never had anybody to play with i think my younger brothers only played like once or twice but i had i had them i thought the models were really cool i had a comic book from them and that was kind of the start of my miniature collecting uh later on i got into what was it mech warrior which was a very similar miniature tabletop game again it was it was mechs this time on miniature bases and the bases had their stats again so you could play and i actually had a friend who uh who i could play with uh, it was my cousin and uh, we ha found somebody who went to my church and he played uh as well and he had the whole gaming table and he had a huge collection and he had even played uh, and tournaments and he had uh, worked with other people and the, like his friend had like gone to like national tournaments for this mech warrior game and so that was pretty cool and the models were way cooler than the mage knights the the mech warrior models were you know they actually looked pretty cool the the mechs at least they were decently painted and so they were fun to collect i even remember i had i had a pretty rare one an atlas and it was a blue one and I was pretty stoked when I got that. Um, and then, uh, one fateful day, my dad took me on a trip to Denmark to meet some of my cousins. And uh, while meeting my cousins, I go down into their basement. And I see this, this whole basement has been turned into pretty much like a, uh, a war gamer's crib, pretty much. So they had the whole gaming table in the middle they had all of these shelves along the wall and they were playing Warhammer 40k. And they had, I, I wanna say they had almost every army, they had a ton of miniatures down there. And they were all painted and they were all on display shelves and they had a, they had a table for painting and hobbying as well. Um, and they had the gaming table in the middle. I'm like, what the heck is this? This looks like, uh, this looks like Mech Warrior, but you don't have the stats on the base and uh, my cousin's like, oh, it's called Warhammer. Let me show you. And so he, we played a test game. He, it was more than a test game. Like I played Tau because I thought their guns looked way cool. And I can't remember what, he, I think he played Eldar. And uh, I just had, he just gave me like the broad suits and the tanks. And like, I had all of these guns on my side of the table. And I don't think he was playing with much. I think he had a Titan or something, um, but uh, it was, I don't remember the game. I can't remember if we even finished or not, but just seeing that many models painted on display shelves and all around was just like, whoa, this is, this is amazing. It was like, it was like a dream come true. And so that's where I pretty much got my fever for, for modeling. So I went home and I bought my own, uh, bought some space Marines and I painted them up. I got the, uh, uh, the starter kit, the Warhammer, I think it was Fall of Macab, Macrib, I don't know, it was uh, Space Marines versus Tyranids, I think it was like the fourth edition or something, and uh, I, I got that with my brothers, we, I painted them all up, um, we, I tried to get my brothers to play, but they never really were interested, so I had all these models, and then I, I kept on buying more more marines and so uh i had a pretty sizable army and then there was this website up and coming website called mini war gaming and they had a video contest 
And if you won their video contest, you got $500 worth of a product for their, at their online store. And I entered a stop motion piece. I took apart some of the models I had and I used a poster putty to kind of stick in their joints so they can like move their limbs. And then my brother and I, we kind of did it all in like four days. We, that was all we did for four days was just, we built the city in one day and then we just started doing stop motion pieces. And it turned out, I mean, it was a terrible video, of course, because like, what, I'm a, I'm a teenager and I don't really know anything, but, but it won. The video actually won. And so I got $500 worth of miniatures, which, which is enough to, to do an army. You know, that's, that's a, especially for a teenage kid, that was more money than I could ever think. So I got, I got a, a decent sized army of Tau and Space Marines and I painted them both up and I gave the Tau to my brother um, in a hopes that he would play. He never played, but I gave it to my brother. And, uh, and then, you know, time had passed and I never really found anybody to play with. So my models got broken or they just, you know, kind of got lost to time. And so uh, after a while, I kind of sold the remaining ones I had and kind of gave up on more gaming for a while. Um, and then I found out about War Machine. And War Machine, I mean, if you know, you can never really give up the gaming of or the, the hobby of war gaming once you get started. So. War Machine seemed pretty interesting, and it seemed a bit more for affordable than Games Workshop. So I started buying Retribution, and I found, and now I'm in college, or college age, and I found a buddy of mine who, uh, or a friend of mine who goes to the same church who also plays, and he plays War Machine, and he, he collects Retribution, he collects Menoth, he collects trolls. He has a lot of armies. I still only have retribution. Um, but so I actually found somebody to play with. And he took me to a game store where people play locally. And there's a decent amount of people who play there. And they're all pretty nice. And so now, suddenly, I have a gaming group that I can go and play with. And now, you know, now more than ever, I've actually been playing and and painting more. And I'm pretty happy. So, but that's that's kind of how I got started into miniature tabletop gaming so you know it's always kind of interesting to look back and see how uh how you get started and what kind of leads you here you know it's pretty i i like to talk to people and ask them what got them into started was this their first game or were they playing other games before because i kind of have a history with with tabletop games from mage knights to to mech warrior to warhammer to uh to war machine and kind of still doing a little more hammer on the side and yeah okay so i've got the cloak done it's uh it's coming along okay well the cloak as in i've got the undercoat done um and then i'll start painting on the details on the cloak